So, so I think our, our survey um, wasn't just uh, specifically for steel producers. Uh, it was also for uh, the steel-related manufacturing industries. Mm -hmm. uh, so our, our advocacy on this actually began last year with concerns of uh, steel dumping. Um, funny you mentioned dumping from uh, China, Korea, India, Turkey, and all those foreign countries. Uh, and the idea we had back in those days was that uh, with the potential election of President Trump and after the election of President Trump, uh, it would actually be an opportunity for the highly integrated Canadian and American steel industries to work together um, and, and address steel dumping at international level. Um, how things have panned out since then have actually been slightly different, where uh, President Trump and his administration seems to want to block itself off from all of the world. Um, and I think our the, the pitch of the Canadian steel industry is like, wait a second, don't forget about us. Um, and, and, and we're hearing that message from businesses not on not just on our side, uh, as well as the uh, Canadian uh, American steel industry side, where they're saying that products go up and down the mm -hmm. Great Lakes, uh, up and down the St. Lawrence River. Uh, steel is recycled uh, in Canada using American products. Iron ore is, is, is gone up and down, again, uh, the uh, Great Lakes as well. Um, and then steel production is highly integrated. Uh, there's a lot of partnerships that have been built since 94 uh, because of the free trade. So, so the initial uh, survey feedback that we've gotten has been that we think that NAFTA and uh, Canada-US trade is very important. Uh, it actually should be strengthened to the point where uh, Canadian businesses know what they're getting into and there's no surprises uh, and they can protect their jobs and they can protect their investments and they can protect the highly uh, sophisticated value chain that they've created. City Matters at noon, 4, 6 and 10 p.m. on Cable 14 and anytime on Cable14now.com.